Hey guys, so I thought I would pop on here real quick um, before I continue the vlog and just say that I am feeling so lazy and uninspired lately. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, if it's just the way things are right now. Um, I feel overwhelmed, you know, with family life, work life, art life. <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love what I do. Um, I just feel like it's all catching up to me. And I actually took half a day off from my nine to five job um, to get some stuff done around the house and get some art stuff done. <clears throat> I have a client of mine that she has a skincare line. Um, I designed her logos and I print her labels for her. Um, I designed her labels as well. So I have, I think a few hundred of these to print and cut. Um, and I think this bottle's new. She was waiting for these to come in. So I actually have to design the label for this one. So I think I'm gonna work on that for a little bit. Um, yeah, so. Sorry, I just wanted to get on here and say that for whatever reason. And I guess, you know, it is okay um, to have moments like this. And I try and tell myself that. And I know that, but you know, it doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> so um, enough of that. Let's get on with making the labels, shall we?
right, so I'm taking a break from making labels because um, I can show you. Uh, the client wanted, she has two cleanser products and she gave me these two bottles. And as you can see, one is tall and thin and the other one is short um, and a little fatter. And she wanted the labels to match or to be able to work with both bottles. But the problem I'm running into is that this label, you know, is good height-wise on this bottle, but it's kind of long for this. It overlaps. And then on the shorter bottle, it works pretty well. In fact, I would even like to close up that gap a little bit more right here, but height-wise it works. So really, the diameter is what I'm having an issue with. So I'm waiting to hear back from her um, on what exactly she wants to do on that. So um, I thought I might take a break and work out real quick. I'm trying to do good on my exercise. Oh, I hate exercise, I hate it. Um, so it is a struggle to make myself exercise. <laughs> Um, and I'm not going to show that because it's nothing anybody wants to see. I don't even like to witness it. So I'm going to take a break, um, and do that. And then hopefully I'll hear from the client by then and I'll know what to do on the bottles. So hopefully I'll see you later tonight to work on the bottle some more. So I bought a new paper cutter on Amazon and it came today. So I thought I would unbox it with you guys. So let's see what it looks like. And then there's the A3 Rotary Paper Trimmer by United. Holy cow, this thing is huge. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, so this was about $130. How ginormous this Eight thing is. Box, I can use from the box for it. This thing is huge. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. I have to work on the labels um, that I was working on earlier in the vlog. Hello! <laughs> So I figured I could try it out um, while I'm working on them. And I just gotta figure out um, how to work this thing. Place the paper guide as the picture shows. Um, okay, lock it, okay. Oh, that's all about the paper guide, okay. So then this thing, Okay. All right. Well, nonetheless, I'm going to read the directions and see how this works. And uh, I'll let you guys know what I think. Stay tuned. Okay. So I just wanted to show you guys. I cut. Look how thin that cut. Like any other paper cutter, it would bend it or rip it. Now granted, this is brand new, so who knows, the blade is supposed to self-sharpen, I believe. I'm pretty sure. This is what I got. And I can link it down below too. But yeah, so I cut 
This is just scrap paper, but I cut those and this off of that. Okay, so, I mean, it's literally as easy. I didn't even have to do anything. You just put it up there, put it underneath this thing, press, and there you go, easy.